Good morning guys. Today we're going to talk about section 6.1 in your textbook, chromosomes and meiosis. You have body cells and gametes. All of the different cells in your body can be divided into two groups, somatic cells and germ cells. Germ cells are the cells in your reproductive organs, the ovaries or the testes, that develops into eggs or sperm. Somatic cells or body cells are all the other cells in your body. Somatic cells make up most of your tissues and organs. The DNA in your somatic cells will not be passed on to your children. Only the DNA in the egg or sperm cells get passed on to the offspring. Egg cells and sperm cells are called gametes. Each species has a characteristic number of chromosomes per cell. For example, humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes. In other words, there are 23 times 2 equals 46 chromosomes in all body cells. Other organisms like fruit flies have 4 pairs of chromosomes or 8 chromosomes per cell. Yeast have 16 pairs of chromosomes or 32 chromosomes per cell. The organism currently known to have the most chromosomes is a fern. It has more than 1,200 chromosomes. Chromosome number is not related to the size or complexity of an organism. Your cells have autosomes and sex chromosomes. Suppose you had 23 pairs of gloves. You would have a total of 23 times 2, which is 46 gloves. You could divide them into two sets, 23 right hand and 23 left hand gloves. Just like that, your body cells have 23 pairs of chromosomes, for a total of 46. These can be divided into two sets, 23 from your mother and 23 from your father. Just as you use both gloves, your cells use both sets of chromosomes to function properly. Each pair of chromosomes is called a homologous pair. Homologous means having the same structure. Homologous chromosomes are two chromosomes, one from the mother and one from the father, that are the same size and have copies of the same genes. Although each chromosome in a homologous pair has copies of the same genes, the two copies may be different. For example, each chromosome in a pair might have a gene that influences eye color, but the gene on one chromosome of the pair may lead to brown eyes and the gene on the other chromosome may lead to green eyes. One of your 23 pairs of chromosomes is your pair of sex chromosomes. These chromosomes control the sex of an organism. Humans and all mammals have two different sex chromosomes, called X and Y. Females have two X chromosomes. Males have one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. The rest of your chromosomes the other 22 pairs are called autosomes. These chromosomes contain genes for all the rest of an organism's life functions. Body cells are diploid. Gametes are haploid. Sexual reproduction involves two gametes, an egg and a sperm, joining together. Fertilization happens when the egg and sperm actually combine. The nucleus of the egg combines with the nucleus of the sperm to form one nucleus. This new nucleus must have the correct number of chromosomes, 46 for humans. Therefore, the egg and sperm each must have half the numbers of chromosomes, 23 for humans. Gametes are haploid cells. Haploid cells have one copy of each chromosome, again 23 for humans. A sperm and egg join together to form a diploid cell for a total of 46 chromosomes for humans. Body cells are all diploid. Only gametes are haploid. Now we're going to talk about meiosis. The germ cells in your reproductive organs form gametes through a process called meiosis. 
Meiosis is a process that divides a diploid cell into a haploid cell. In chapter 5, you learned about mitosis, which is another process in which the cell divides. Remember that mitosis results in two identical diploid cells. Mitosis is used for development, growth, and repair. In contrast, meiosis results in four haploid cells that are unique. Meiosis happens only in germ cells to make gametes. Meiosis produces genetically unique cells. Results in haploid cells. It takes place only at certain times in an organism's life cycle and it is involved in sexual reproduction. In the next section, we will study much more about meiosis.